What is up, beautiful family? I hope that you guys are having a great afternoon. So I wanted to come on here and talk about something really quick and I feel like I need to address it. Now I am not addressing the people who have come against me and made videos. This video is not for them. This video is simply for the people who have genuinely come to me and asked me. Um, and so I'm addressing this because I want you guys to know the truth. So there is a woman who has come against me and is lying, uh, making up false accusations, saying that I ignored her plea for help. Um, she says that she has ovarian cancer and she says that she reached out to me and that I deleted her comment and completely ignored her plea for help. So I am setting the record straight because this is not like my character uh, whatsoever. And it's a shame that I even have to talk about this. Um, most of you uh, who are a part of this channel family um, understand and know that this is just an, uh, a complete lie. But there are people who have questions and want to know and have wanted me um, to talk about it because there have been multiple people who have made videos against me and I'm not even going to name names because these are the same exact people who have mocked and scoffed me from the very beginning, from the very first um, time I ever even came on YouTube. I've been on YouTube for a year now and this same group is the same people who make videos day in and day out. They have absolutely nothing better to do with their time and so they, um, you know, they do what they do. This is, it's the whole group is the ones who come against eternal security. These are the same people who are trusting in themselves for salvation and not relying on Christ alone for their salvation. So this video is truly not for them. Nothing that we say is going to get through to them. I have already been done with trying to, um, I've been, I've been over um, addressing them. This is simply for the people who have seen their videos and have questions and want to know the truth. And I feel like me as a person, I have the right to stand up for myself and tell the truth and bring the lies to the light so you guys can see these people for who they are. So there is this woman who, um, in a nutshell, supports these mockers and scoffers. She has a video on her channel from a month ago in support of two women who have come against me. Uh, found out my personal information and publicly exposed where I worked, um, threatened to call around my hometown to all of the places where I live. I don't know. I don't, I don't understand that, but threatened to do that. Um, uploaded uh, photos of my past, uploaded photos of my children. Okay. This woman who is saying that I ignored her plea for help <laughs> is in support of these people who have done these sick and nasty vile things against me. So this woman is claiming that she has ovarian cancer, that she reached out to me on my channel uh, and pleaded for help and she's saying that I uh, deleted her comment and I knew about her problem before um, this situation arose with my mother and that I'm a bad person because I I guess I owe her something and I'm supposed to raise a bunch of money for this person uh, who is in support of all these people who have attacked me and my family. So first of all, um, this woman has literally given no proof whatsoever that she ever reached out to me. I have multiple um, social media platforms that you can email me at, uh, that you can uh, comment to, okay? This woman never reached out from uh, out to me genuinely for help. Um, this woman actually had to be blocked. Um, first of all, her comments had to be deleted. Um, but this woman ultimately, her channel had to be blocked because she attacked me numerous times on my channel. Now I'm going to say this one time, and I hope you guys really 
uh, get this. This is for the mockers and the scoffers, the people who come against uh, the doctrine, uh, the true doctrine, okay, the, the true um, gospel, okay, the truth. This is not for my channel family, okay? This is for the people who try to come on my channel and sow discord and try to argue with people and um, for the people who try to be rude, okay? I am very protective over my channel family. And if you are going to come on my channel and attack my brothers and sisters on my channel, I don't stand for that. And I also do not stand um, for anyone who tries to come against me, who comes on my channel and has nasty, vile, rude things to say. I accept anyone on my channel who has a difference of opinion. I actually just commented uh, to a man a couple days ago who had a difference of opinion and he was respectful. And you know what I said to him? I said, I really applaud that you are so respectful, even though you, you know, we agree to disagree. You don't believe in what I believe in and, and you don't even, you know, I think he was post-trib. <clears throat> I don't remember what it was, but I was like so happy that he could come on my channel and have a difference of opinion. I accept people like that. But what I do not accept is people coming on my channel and being rude and mocking me and scoffing me and saying nasty things towards me and towards my brothers and sisters. So if you are somebody who does that, the only time that I ever delete a comment or block somebody is if you are doing that. And this woman who is now trying to play the victim, saying that I owed her something and that I ignored her plea for help. She has never come to me genuinely, not one time, and asked me for help. In fact, she has had to be deleted and blocked from my channel for attacking me and other people. So I'm telling you right now um, that this is a lie. Um, I don't even know if this woman has ovarian cancer, okay? That's not for me to say. She very well may have it, but for her to come on my channel and attack me and then try to back me up in a corner, okay, and say that I owe her something that, you know, to mock me and scoff me and have something vile and rude to say that... The Lord placed this upon my heart to create this fundraiser for my mother so that the Lord could bless her with a vehicle, okay? To come against me for that and to say that I owe you something, it doesn't work like that, okay? And anybody who's in their right mind who is there will agree with me. So I'm setting the record straight for anybody right now who has questions, who have seen these mockers and scoffers and these Pharisees make false accusations, okay? This is the first way I'm going to handle it, okay? Is I'm setting the record straight now, okay? But this is trying to hurt somebody's character. These people know what they're doing, and so does this woman, okay? Um, I understand that people have trials and tribulations, okay? But for somebody to make false accusations and lies up, okay? Because you see somebody else being blessed and you think you're owed something, okay? It does it that just doesn't sit right with me. You expect somebody to help you when when you are attacking grace uh, teachers and believers? It doesn't work like that. I have like I'm not gonna sit on camera and tell people what I have done for people in the past, in the private, because that's, that's between me and the Lord. But I've done things publicly, okay? I just um, helped um, uh, our sister Amanda Christian uh, raise funds because she's in California right now. She's in the midst of the fires. Something happened to their transmission, okay? And if the fires were to get closer, then um, they don't have a way to escape, okay? I We, ha we created a uh, community post to help raise funds for Amanda Christian. Um, I had a sister that I shared, her and her um, her babies, a couple months ago, reached out to me and asked for help. Um, she had a newborn, her husband had just left, and she was having a hard time um, uh, making ends meet, and she 
um, was trying to find ways to feed her family. So she re reached out to me and we raised a lot of money for her. So for somebody to say that I don't care, that I'm just ignoring people's pleas for help and I am uh, manipulating people um, out of money, it's, it's all lies. This is from the enemy. This is a spirit of this is the enemy, okay, behind these people that you're seeing these videos from. I made it very clear when I made the video for my mom. I said, if you feel led to donate, I'm going to leave the amount up to you guys. And that is exactly what I did. I told you guys that I would leave the amount up to you. And I told you guys that I would close the account and uh, cut, or not close the account, but cut off donations on Friday. And that is exactly what I did. There's a lot of people who um, made assumptions that I was just taking money from people and I was just running with it and I wasn't coming back on YouTube and I was just, I'm, I was a scam artist and I was uh, committing fraud, okay? That's not me. And I uploaded a video and showed you guys exactly where the money went. It went to exactly where the Lord wanted it to go. And so I am not letting anybody take my joy or the joy from my mother okay this blessing truly came from the Lord and it was so amazing how my mom uh, a couple days ago had texted me and she was talking with the Lord and she said you know um, she said Lord I you know just can you give me confirmation and just let me truly know that this is just a, a blessing from you that you, you're just wanting to bless me she said if this is you know a blessing from you you are really wanting to do this for me um, can you please um, show me like a flock of butterflies because he knows that you know she loves rainbows but she didn't ask for that for confirmation she asked um, to see a bunch of uh, butterflies and so a couple days passed and I get a text message uh, this afternoon, my mom reached out to me and said that she had pulled up in the driveway somewhere because um, she rents um, from this man. And she pulled up. It was like next to this uh, a trailer or something that they have out there. And there was this uh, flower um, and there was a flock of um, yellow and black butterflies, I believe. She said it was just a cluster of them, just a family trying to uh, get nectar, I think she said. And I just broke down in tears and I'm like, oh my gosh, like it's, it's just so amazing. Like not only did I ask the Lord for him to make those funds available on Friday so that she could get into her vehicle um, on the weekend, okay, that wasn't even going to happen. GoFundMe said, we're going to send the funds out on Friday, but you won't receive them for two to five business days, which would have meant at the end of next week he came through and supernaturally made the funds available for her on Friday but he literally confirmed it like a good father and literally showed her that cluster of butterflies and it's so it's just amazing to me and this truly was a blessing from the Lord he used all of you guys it was just such an amazing thing and what is so sad is that you know there really are Pharisees out there liars who unfortunately are going through trials and tribulations and they can't stand to see when somebody else is getting blessed. Um, if this woman truly has ovarian cancer, my heart goes out to her. If you are listening to this, which you probably are, my heart goes out to you. I'm so sorry that you're having to deal with that. And I can tell that you've had a rough life, okay? But if you would have come to me gracefully and asked me for help which you did not you attacked me on my channel and I had to delete your comments and block you ever before this fundraiser uh, fundraiser was ever put together ever before the Lord had placed this upon my heart to do this for my mother I would have came to you and said yes sister of course what do we need to do to um, to get you what you need okay but for you to back me up in a corner and think that I owe you something after attacking me and mocking me and being rude to me on my channel, okay, and supporting two women who have come against me, um, exposed where I work, putting my safety at risk, okay, 
supporting two women a, a month ago, okay? Um, uploading photos of my children, um, invading my privacy. Um, that's not how it works. That doesn't sit right with me, and I'm sorry, but somebody who does that will not get my help. So I'm very, I'm being very, very honest and real with you guys. I thought long and hard. I prayed to the Lord. I said, Lord, do you want me to address this? And I felt that I needed to address it. Not to the mockers and scoffers who make these videos, okay? These people who come against the grace community, who mock and scoff the gospel of grace, God's word that talks about eternal security. They come against eternal security and say we're teaching a doctrine of demons. These people have literally been mocking and scoffing me from day one. So I don't expect anything out of them. Actually, I expect them to make more videos. But I am doing the due diligence of um, addressing this so that the people who truly genuinely have questions and want to know what in the world is this woman talking about, she is a liar. So um, anybody who needs my help knows that they can truly, genuinely come to me and ask me for help and I will go out of my way to do whatever I can for you. You guys know that. Those of you who have been around for a while who are my true brothers and sisters, you guys know that. You, I know you guys don't question that. And I've helped many of you guys. So um, I am laying this to rest. Um, and I am going to just keep pushing forward. The Lord is coming. The attacks are going to keep getting stronger. Satan is mad that, listen, I used to get so upset about these people that would come against me. I would watch their videos. I would uh, dwell on these things. But Satan is so mad that when the Lord finally took that desire away from me, I don't click on these people's videos anymore. I don't watch it. But this um, has blown up, okay? All of the mockers and scoffers and the Pharisees who have continued to come against grace, who continue to make up lies and accusations and make videos about me, okay? They're there. I see them. I don't watch them, okay? And Satan is so mad that this stuff is not getting to me anymore. So he's trying to do anything he can. But at the end of the day, Satan cannot take what the Lord has given, okay? Satan can... Uh, lie, use these people to lie and make false accusations, bear false witness, okay? But at the end of the day, he can't touch a child of God, okay? And I'm over it. Um, I'm going to keep pushing forward. I'm sorry for any of you guys that have had to watch this. Um, again, this woman is lying. And um, it's really unfortunate that she literally just actually could have come to me and asked me for help and said she... Um, it's, she, it's, she was just being used by the enemy. Um, and I can tell you right now, this woman has never asked me for help. And if, um, yeah, I mean, if anybody knows, anybody who is a part of this channel family who has been around knows that I would go out of my way to help somebody, but not somebody who's backing me up in a corner and making lies up and is mad because the Lord has blessed my mother with something and thinks it. It's owed to them. It doesn't work like that. You don't back people up in a corner like that. Mock them, scoff them, support people who have come against them, put their safety at risk, okay? Exposing where they work, where they live, um, making threats, okay? And then you expect something out of somebody? I'm sorry, that's not me. I don't roll like that. <laughs> and I'm just being real with y'all. So, um, I'm sorry I made this video so long, but I just had to address this, all right? Um, I love you all. Keep pushing forward. You, you literally can tell that the Lord is at the door and he is returning so soon. The enemy is, the enemy is literally trying anything that he can <laughs> to drag us down, to um, distract us, okay? But I'm over it. And uh, let the Lord be my strength through this. It's the only way that I've gotten through it. And I believe that the Lord is bringing us into a new season. Um, and the enemy is literally going to keep trying to do anything that he can. He knows that these mockers and scoffers are not getting to us anymore. So he's trying to use people from the outside. He's trying to do everything that he can. You guys keep putting on the armor of God. I am not the only one who is under the attack right now. Um, but he just said, you know, the Lord said, just remember, 
if they hate you, they hated me first. And this doesn't come down to anything personal. This literally comes down to the fact that we are preaching the true gospel of grace and Satan can't stand it. And he's using these Pharisees who reject God's truth to come after us. And I'm telling you right now, it's not working. Love you all. Talk to you soon.